Welcome back to Artec. Today we're going to review the Black Tea Weekly Timer Switch. Yet another device from Black Tea. This is available on Amazon India and it's a pretty useful device. We'll come uh, to the uses of this device a bit a little later in the video. Uh, first, let's have a look at the packaging and what's on it. So uh, here are the specs of this device. So it is a weekly timer switch, as the name says. There's no particular brand name on the box as such, uh, but it is marketed by Black Tea in India. And uh, here are the specs. It's a uh, two for seven, uh, seven day weekly programmable timer. Can set timers for anything above a minute, handles up to 2500 watts or 10 amps at 250 volts AC. It has a small built in uh, battery and it's for memory storage. So, if you set up a timer on this device, you don't have to worry about it going off when you plug it off. It does have a battery for backup. And it also has an override switch that helps bypass the settings and just use it as a regular switch. A few precautions, it's not waterproof and uh, the device costs about 900 but it's on a discount, we'll come to that a little later. Anyway, this uh, is a nice box, blue and white combination and it's got this nice um, multi-plug socket which you can plug most of your devices into. So let's go ahead and open the box. There you go, it says Black 3 Electrotech on the side. The device feels solid and that's the plug, it just looks like a European spec plug. It's called the Schuko plug, I think it's German. And uh, as I said, it's 10 amps, 250 volt AC, so up to 2500 watts. It's pretty good handling uh, capacity, this one has. You can run a geezer, but the only problem here is it doesn't have an earthing plug, which an Indian plug will support, but it might be having earthing, which we'll find out a little later. Okay, so there is a product booklet which Black Tea has given and it's got a list of all their other products. We've also reviewed some of the older devices which they've sent us like this uh, security alarm system and you know the, I think we also reviewed the switch, the automatic PIR sensor switch. I can leave the links above, you can just click on them and you can see those videos if you like. Okay, so that's the address of uh, this company. Okay, and they've also thrown in a small paper manual, uh, nothing fancy, it's just a white sheet of paper with a little bit of instructions printed on it. Okay, getting back to the device itself, I'm just going to try and reset this clock first because it just shows all kinds of things on it. I tried doing that with my bare hands but it doesn't work so you'll have to use uh, something sharp um, and you know then get it reset. I found something lying down so I just used that and holding it down for about 5 seconds or so it should reset the device. Okay, that device looks reset right now. So let's go ahead and set up the clock. So to set up the clock, uh, simply hold the clock button and then the uh, it should actually display the time currently and then you hold the R button to kind of re move the time according to the time zone you want to set it to. So right now it's about you know, 12 p.m. So I'm going to keep it at 12. Uh, remember it's just a manual single switch uh, which you can use to set up time. So if you do skip a number you'll have to go back all the way and come back to 12. And the minute button will reset the time uh, in minutes. So getting back to the device, it's got a nice simple display, no backlights unfortunately and it's uh, this is a, a everyday scenario uh, which I'm going to use on this. So um, it's, it's pretty much old school, it has about 16 programmable uh, menus. I'm going to use the first one so I'm going to set up a time for all days of the week where this device will probably say comes on. Uh, just to show you guys a live example, let's put it at 12.40 or 12.42 or something. And uh, let's see if we can get this device to switch on and switch off automatically based on the time we set in. So it's going to start at 12.42 and I'm going to just say switch it off at about uh, 
12.52. So let's go ahead and set that up for 12.52. Okay, now the timer is running and just to uh, show you guys how it's going to work, I'm going to plug it in the wall outlet. I'm going to use my uh, 18650 lithium ion battery charger. It's got a nice LED display on it, so it will show us whether the device is switched on or switched off. Um, notice why this whole thing is actually offset. I, I tried keeping it straight, but uh, for some reason the plugs are designed in such a way that the whole unit is actually twisted. So, um, well, I wish it could have better, better aesthetics. Anyway, so the device comes on at 12.42 and you can see the green light on there. Now this should go off uh, at 12.52 and I'm going to just probably skip this whole thing, okay? So those who have OCD, you'll notice that the device is, uh, okay, you can keep it straight, we just put a little bit of force on it and the device should go off in about 30 seconds. Watching and it should go off. It did. So this plug, I know it uh, it does have a thing, and uh, Indian plugs are slightly different. This will work in an Indian plug, but uh, you may not get the earthing uh, wire, you know, grounded on this plug because uh, the system is slightly different, and you know that's going to be a problem for everyone. So just to make sure that I see what's actually inside and whether the unit actually has a thing, I'm just opening it up to show you guys. And if you notice, it's uh, it actually has uh, a thing on it and it's not uh, something which they have skipped on. So the plug is connected to the earth wire. Just that, you know, you don't have an appropriate socket. You can buy that on Amazon or eBay and you get a converter for that, which will enable this plug to have an earth connection for your circuit if you're interested. If you're using small devices, it should be fine. And the wires look really good here. It's uh, at least got one square mm of thickness. It's uh, also got a small little green battery there. You can see the you know relay right up front over there on the circuit board. And it's neatly designed, so it doesn't look like something which is just put together with a soldering wire. So just to show you guys the back of the circuit, I'm just opening this whole thing up. As you can see, it's a very well designed circuit. No, um, nothing seems to have just been thrown apart. It, it looks like a well built motherboard, so it should last quite a long time. There are many ways you can make this device work uh, wonders for you. Here's a quick, useful one gate lights or parking lights. For example, you know, my dad made the school setup for the plug to be used with this device connects to the lamp uh, directly and uh, this plug is actually connected to the gate lights or the parking lamps under the gate and uh, all this does is um, it's set to run uh, on a timer every day let me show you so it, it will switch on at 17 30 hours that's about five uh, half past 5 p.m and it will run to about uh, 11 in the night after which the device will automatically switch off now you can manually override the whole thing. So let's say you want to switch it off manually. You have this first button here which says on, off and automatic. So if you put it on, it will switch on regardless of what time or programs you've set. If you leave it on automatic, it will run the program that has been set and you can manually switch off the device by putting it on off. So you do get that control which you probably would need to override some of the switches. So you can run several devices with this uh, particular plug. I can think of so many things. For example, an air cooler or an air filter can be made to run automatically at a particular time in your room or your hall. And even when you're not there, it can actually run on its own and kind of cool your room or clean your room automatically. By the time you come in in the evening, you'll find that you know the air is much cleaner, the room is much cooler. And there are many creative ways you can actually use this. Wouldn't that be great? And uh, also, 
I think one of the biggest advantage of having a plug like this is for people who use uh, water heaters or geysers. Uh, it can be a boon because it can save a lot of electricity. It can be made to run for a particular amount of time and switch off automatically. So that's a really good thing. I just wish that this had a proper Indian plug. Black Tea did say that uh, they will come up with uh, an Indian, Indian socket plug. So let's keep an eye out for that. Also, there's a competition guys. So I'm keeping a small little contest for you guys. And um, all you have to do is just tell me what are the creative ways you can think of using this particular uh, timer and uh, the best comment out there will probably get one of these devices sent to the winner all right so there are terms and conditions so um, you know winner will be decided by our channel admins and uh, we will send the device to the person who wins this competition all right I'll leave a link in the description for the product in case you want to buy it and uh, this is my short review of the weekly timer switch from black tea Thumbs up if you liked the video, down if you didn't, uh, please do subscribe, hit the, hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos which come out uh, as soon as it's launched and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much guys uh, for watching and I will see you on the next one.